Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for July 2023. This is a love reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I've been getting uh, inquiries about personal readings. I'm not doing them at this time, but when that changes, I will make an announcement on the channel so that way people know how to access those if they're interested. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. So those will bring in aspects of money and career and moving and travel, all kinds of stuff. Mondays are a different style every week. This is the only day of the month I do a love reading. Next Monday will be something entirely different. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus about love, please. All right, we are going to start with a love oracle reading. Then we'll have the tarot. Then we'll have another oracle card reading. So three readings and one today. New love. Okay, so for some of you, embrace the opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. So again, if you are single right now and it's been a source of frustration, embracing the other areas that are successful will open the door, will open that channel up for you to receive that love you're looking for. Forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. So again, in, or if you're in a relationship now too, just allowing yourself to see the other person as your source sees them, as a divine being recognizes another divine being. Okay, the, the mind is what gets angry. The mind is what holds on to bad memories, hostility, and resentment. Be willing to express love. Express love to receive love because you get what you are. And you are love. So there we go with the whispers of love. Now we'll hear from the tarot. We will have three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you are attracting, three cards on the advice for the relationship. All right. So what guidance do you have for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus to attract the love of their lives into their lives? What does Sagittarius need to know about love, please? Messages for Sagittarius about love. All right, so we'll start it here. Your energy is the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Their energy is the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Magician. The advice is the hanged man, the world. Now, this is interesting. Four of wands. So you have a four, four, four sequence here in the advice. So something is important there because, in, so if you're going, how, the, how in the world does that make any sense with the world and the hanged man? Um, well, guess what? Their legs are in the number four. I don't know if you've ever, if I've pointed that out. I do per periodically when they show up together. So four is is connected to this card. So for some, it may be the angel number 444. It may be the number of weeks, months, but there's something here about a new cycle. You've got a beautiful energy here in terms of love. New doors will open or the doors and, and to your heart and to your soul. These are opening here. We have here three major arcana. We have water, fire, earth, a beautiful energy though for you. So with your energy here, it's very solid, very stable, very commitment-like, very you know, with the, the earthy energy that's here, rock steady, I hear. Remember that song from the 80s? Um, so with the uh, the King of Pentacles, though, that does make a partner for life. So some of you, if you've worked on other areas of your life, working on your finances, on your physical body, or even your spirituality, because with the Pentacles, those are also about manifesting. And I'm telling you, whoever it is that you're attracting, are they going to be smitten with you? They're manifesting you, by the way. And if you don't know them yet, when you meet, they're going to say they feel like they've known you for a thousand lifetimes. They will feel already connected to you because they can feel your energy. They can feel this powerful energy coming forward. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is also a card of waiting. So for some, you may have looked at your life. You may have taken your own inventory 
and said, where do I want to be in five years, 10 years, 15 years? Where am I going? What direction do I think I want my life to be in? And with that Knight of Cups, it's time to set your intentions. The Knight of Cups, so that, that helmet guided by the wings of angels, see yourself in your own first person reality as if you're living in the love story that you want to create, not like you're watching it on a movie screen, because what we know about doing that is it can often manifest around you. So then you see it showing up in other people's lives and it's like, thanks for that gut punch. That's great. They're getting exactly what I'd hoped for. Now with that Knight of Cups, so you can do all kinds of spiritual practices, but know that that Knight brings love to you. So it's here. It's the cards don't lie and the cards are saying, look, we want to bring in the love of your life. We want to bring in a commitment that's here to last and here to evolve. So with the person you are attracting, this is dynamite energy. For some, it is a new love with that Ace of Cups, but this is somebody who loves deeply. They come straight from the heart. They will speak to you straight from their heart. And I do feel like it's going to be a very special relationship. Now, if you're already in it and you've had a few trials or disconnection here, even though you don't have conflict in the cards, I do see you as getting past that. The Six of Cups is a return to love, a return to being able to fully open up and trust in a relationship. So it's both sides here. It's reciprocal energy. And so for those of you that it is a reconciliation or somebody from your past, it also too could be somebody you've not dated before, but someone who you know, because that Six of Cups brings in a sense of nostalgia. It brings in a, a sentimentality. So for some, it may be somebody who shows up and it, like I said, you are kindred spirits right from the go. It's like, wow, I can't believe how much we have in common, that sort of thing. So with that Six of Cups, though, it is a beautiful energy in terms of falling in love, being in love, and feeling uh, supported, totally supported by this individual. This person's very caring in a very deep level. They notice all the details. They notice all the little things. So if you say you're out at a you know a pastry shop and you say, God, that one looks good, but I'm going to get this today. Next week, they'll show up with the one that you said, that looks good. They'll say, I was happening by that place and I just thought I'd get this for you. It's all those little day-to-day -day things. And like I said, they're very sentimental person. They may be a collector of sorts, like they have a sort of a sentimental collection of of things, whether it's, you know, I keep seeing Legos for some reason. So if they're in their 40s or 50s and they have a small Lego connection collection, and I'm not talking about like a gigantic room where they don't let anyone into the room because it's like their prized possessions. I'm talking about something that's kind of cute where it's just sort of enough to be like, that's interesting and fun without being a little strange. Um, but with that energy of the magician too, you both bring a lot to the table. You are it for them. Okay, you check all the boxes. If they had to have a list of you know positive aspects and who they'd want to manifest, it's you. And so with that magician energy, I do feel like it's electric. It feels dynamic. It feels exciting. And it is so fulfilling. Their heart will be full being with you. There's no leveling up here to do. And they come, you know, they come ready made as well. They come ready to be in a relationship in a mature energy. And it's transformational. I feel like in both for both of you. So here we go with this. This is so great. You do have a wedding here, and you also, too, these two, the two fairy tale cards of the deck both showing up. So with this, I do feel like you have a, a relationship that is going to grow, that is a deepening commitment. Now, that hanged man energy, for some of you, it is about letting go of the past. The hanged man brings in a very easygoing kind of energy. So you're open, you're wide open and ready to receive. And the hanged man, too, that illumination in the crown it can be that light bulb moment. So for some of you, if you have a nagging little urge, you keep thinking, I should go to this coffee shop or I want to check out a concert at this outdoor venue or even I should contact this person and see how they're doing. And I don't mean for a love relationship. It could be an old friend you contact and they go, hey, are you single? That sort of thing. I just feel like that, that hanged man energy is kind of pushing you forward a little bit. But with the world, this is truly a relationship. It's relationship goals, but it's a relationship that feels like the one. 
And with the energy of the world, if you're already in a relationship, I don't see it ending. If you have an issue to work through with the world, there's a resolution. It is a new chapter. It's the closing of the past and on to the new. But it feels amazing. It feels fulfilling. It feels rich. There's depth here. And the Four of Wands is that firm foundation. It is a Hindu wedding ceremony, that 11-11 card. So we've got 4-4-4, showing up here. And so... With this, um, the energy of that Four of Wands, it is a true partnership. It's two people. You're going to walk side by side together. I see people arm in arm on a beach. Very romantic energy, too. So get ready for this. Beautiful reading, especially for a love reading. Yes, it is in the cards, by the way. We can't deny that. With the advice that's there, they say be open and to receive your partner here. What else does Sagittarius need to know about love, please? What information do you want to reveal to Sagittarius about love? Advice for Sagittarius about love. Let go. Okay, let it go and let it flow. They've got it a couple of times here. You've got listen to your intuition. So meditate, quiet the mind, get yourself a connected to your higher self and ask, 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 ask. You've got ask your angels. I kept saying it. They said, yep, let's give it to them one more time. Give it to them good. Within the next few weeks. So we did say the number four. It could be a month or it could be a couple of months, but you've got a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Sagittarius. I love you too. And I'll be back again soon.